Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It's Moses and welcome back again to another Sims 4 house build. So this is probably, no, no this is in fact my very first uh, three story house and uh, you know generally I'd stick away from these, St stay away, <laughs> stick away makes no sense. Stay away from these and um, you know I just decided I'm going to give it a go and uh, I saw this picture of like this, yeah, of, of the picture of a front, of the front of a house. There we go. Wow. I think my brain just, shits brain. Um, but yeah, I saw a picture of a front of the house, of a house. Oh, wow. And um, it had like this kind of triple decker thing going. Uh, very similar kind of front to what I've got going here. Um, but obviously, you know, some changes had to be made. You know, this is the Sims can't mimic real life 100%. But uh, overall, I'm actually really, really happy with um, just the way that this house came out. Uh, oddly enough, you know, it's a pretty large looking house, at least on the outside. Uh, and um, on the inside, you'd actually be surprised. It's not that big. Um, the way I made this house... Um, which you'll see in, in a bit, is uh, it's it's pretty much just for like two people. Uh, two very rich people, but just two people. Um, any more than that, I mean, there's no other rooms in any case, but any more than that, and the house wouldn't feel as spacious and as um, luxurious as what I think it looks like now. And yeah, overall, I'm just really fond of this house like I don't think I would have ever normally done something like this like these really huge uh, balconies um, I generally don't like doing that but uh, yeah it just everything just turned out so so well okay so I jumped ahead because I wanted to uh, work on something I hope you guys saw that it was a quick spin um, yeah, so you see, I kind of just jumped there just so that I could work on the windows and stuff like that because I feel like doing that off camera just, you know, then I can be a little bit more precise again, take my time, you know, like I said in the previous video. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep doing that because it just yields better results in the end. Um, and it, yeah, it's just for the outside of the house. It's so that I can really work on the fine details, fix it up. Um, so I hope you guys got a good look. You will again see it in the screenshots and maybe just now as I go look outside again um but yeah just you know added fine details put in the windows which did take a while but uh it was really worth it because uh i, I honestly believe the windows is what makes this house um in the end is is what makes this house um so again busy building the house and of course as always if there are staircases involved i will forget them because that happened again um I think I've pretty much finished up this entire floor here and then it occurred to me, oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't have staircases. And the worst part is there's three floors. This is the middle one, which means there had to be two staircases on this floor. And I'd forgotten them both. Uh, luckily, I managed to fix that without actually having to change much. Um, and not only that, but it was perfect. It just... They looked like they, you know, were intentionally placed there from the start. Um, so, yeah, I guess nothing could uh, stop me from making this awesome house. Because, again, it looks it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I uh, try to make this top floor, like, really open plan. And um, you'll kind of see that this, or well, not the top floor, the middle floor. You'll kind of see that this floor is pretty much just the kitchen up here. There's really nothing else. And uh, that's the thing about this house, like each kind of part of the house takes up a lot of space. Um, like there's nothing that's actually squashed in, um, which I like, I, I really do like that. And uh, yeah, again, the, the bad thing about the triple story house is the stairs. Um, I can't imagine living here would, okay, well, it's not like I'm gonna complain, but having to walk up and down those stairs that often because you let you know kitchens on the second floor your rooms on the third and on the first floor there's like the tv and blah 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 all that stuff so you can imagine like there would be a lot of walking involved um but 
anyways, I think uh, other than that, I'm I'm really fond of this place, and I'm I'm glad I went to this half wall. I wasn't sure at first, but uh, I decided that other wall kind of destroys the whole idea of an open space, and it really makes uh, the um, side across from the kitchen just seem just just too squashed. I don't know. And uh, it also allowed me to place a table. Now, I realize that this table doesn't work as a dining table. Um, but for the sake of it to just look good, I decided I really don't care. <laughs> um, so I left the tables there, which are these tables right here. Um, they don't work as dining tables, unfortunately. But I just decided, you know, I don't, whatever, whatever, I it's going to stay here. And uh, yeah, I also went with the more, you know, colorful array of chairs there, which I generally also don't do. I have tried before, just never worked. But this just seemed to be the perfect time to do it. And yeah, it looked good. So quite happy with that. I understand it's not like this, you know, family kind of dining table. I mean, four people could fit there, but. You know, you're all kind of facing the same direction. It's a bit strange, but it's, it's uh, again, pretty much just meant for two people anyways. And if they do have, I don't know, any guests or something, there's an extra small table. So yeah, here we see the stairs being placed in. And um, I decided before I go any further, I'm going to just get the last staircase in as well. Um, but you'll see the one going downstairs, actually uh, perfect position. I mean, I had to take away one of the chairs there, uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. It looks it looks really good. Um, the bedroom, which is the floor on now, I I'm really really happy with the way that turned out. Actually, uh, like you guys might have noticed if you watch some of my other videos, I always complain about the fact that like you generally start developing this kind of style and uh, a way that you you bold stuff in and it really becomes hard to break away from that um because you just end up kind of doing it naturally like it just happens you, you don't really plan for it. it just happens and i i hate it i really i even if it looks good in the house i feel like if i did it in my last video i can't do it again i don't know that's just this kind of mindset i have and, and it's just it's really bothersome so Again, with the kitchen, first time I'm doing this kind of style kitchen, I'm happy, you know? Because uh, usually I got the same thing going with all my kitchens, and I hate it. Like, well, I don't have the same thing. I'm always breaking away, but it always, like, starts off as the same thing. Most of my stuff always starts off as the same thing, but, yeah, you do have to put in a bit of effort to actually, uh, to get it to look a bit more unique. But again... The, the the bedroom, which I'm surprised I still haven't started. Okay, we're starting now. Um, I, it's definitely not what I've done before. But I mean, like, how unique can you make a bedroom? Like a master bed? No, I shouldn't say that. You can make a master bedroom pretty unique. But I mean, there'll always be that kind of, you know, double bed and then the bedside tables. And then I guess, depending on the shape of the room, you'll have other stuff in. Um, but yeah, like that specific part will always be the same with the double bed and the bedside tables. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, these uh, walk-in cupboards, I just wish that they weren't uh, two blocks wide. Well, two, two by two, whatever. Um, just two by one, but no, it just has to be this giant bulking thing. And I also realized, because when I was busy taking the uh, screenshots, I kind of flew into that cupboard. There's like <laughs> cleaning supplies and a vacuum in there. So I don't, I guess this guy doesn't have clothes. He's got a vacuum cleaner though, but he doesn't have clothes. Um, I, would, I saw it and I just decided I'm not changing it because um, I really don't care what's inside the cupboard. It's just how it looks on the outside, which um, I, I don't know. I think that cupboard looks pretty nice and I don't want to go and change it with the others. Um, so yeah, jumping into the bathroom again, another thing that I always just always, always do the same way over and over again. But lately I've been using this little triangular bath here, hot tub thing, and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, 
now with this house i've pretty much stayed away from curtains completely um, but the problem with that is that it's got a lot of windows and they're really big and you know you kind of want to place things in a way that doesn't put you at an awkward position of you know people staring in so you'll see like now i've put the basin in front of the window so it kind of blocks off the toilet so in, in a way it really works and i do that somewhere downstairs as well or something or oh, one of the other bathrooms as well kind of similar thing um but yeah i, I just think i believe i did not use any no i used one set of blinds and i think that's it for the rest of the house there's no curtains or anything like that um but nonetheless i think I like like I said I really try to make stuff unique and I think it came out pretty unique. Again you you're going to see as soon as I get to well the screenshots you'll you'll really get to have a good look at this room. Um but I'm I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Seriously, it it looks it looks really good. Um you know that little seat there is something I also generally don't do very often. And uh, yeah, I just try to throw stuff in see what happens um i was very like carefree kind of while doing all of this and yeah it actually worked in my benefit usually i'd kind of before i record or in between the recording i'd kind of stop and think about okay what you know what am i going to use where am i going to place this stuff um but this time i was like you know what i'm just going to go and do it uh if it doesn't look good i'll restart and just edit the other stuff out but yeah, it turned out really well. This table, I was slightly unsure of. But when I looked at the screenshots, it just it looked really good. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think um, it deserves to stay. But yeah, it is a bit of a strange piece of furniture in a strange place. I guess, kind of. Not really, kind of. Um, but again, pretty much happy with everything in this house. There's... You know, honesty time now, there's one room um, that I don't like very much. Um, the only reason why I didn't change it is because it just it had to, in my mind, be that kind of room. Um, it's here on this floor that I'm working on now. Um, but you'll see I divide this off in like two sections of the room. One will be the uh, like TV room and stuff. And then the other side is like a recreational kind of room. It's got that foosball table. And that foosball table is kind of what ruins the room. But I left it there. Um, and the thing is, it was, in my mind, meant to be a pool table. But they don't have pool tables. I find that really stupid. But they, they don't have pool tables. But it, that room just had to be a recreational room. So, yeah. I, I just left it as, as is. Um, if there was a pool table, I honestly think uh, it would have brought that whole room together. And that room would have actually looked really amazing but yeah just you know gotta make do with what you have um under the staircase on this room it is kind of open and spacious not too much going on but i think like a lot of times that bothers me but i think i think it's okay like there are some spots in people's houses that don't really have much going on you know, it's just it's just how it is. Uh, so, yeah, I went with this blue carpet. I like it personally. But I have this slight feeling that some people might disagree with that. Or a lot of people might disagree with that. Um, but let me know. Like, I did go and use that little blue vase thing there to maybe kind of bring the stuff together. Um, but, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think or what you would have changed. And also, yeah, just let me know what you think about the rest of the house. But anyways, uh, today's actually, <laughs> and I forgot this this morning until I got a message from a friend. But uh, yeah, today's actually my birthday. I'm recording this on my birthday. I'm going to upload it this afternoon, publish it as well, because it is a little late. But uh, I did have some study stuff to take care of. Um, so yeah, I couldn't. By late, I don't know if, you guys have noticed, but like I, roughly every four or five days, I'll put up a video. Um, it's already been five, so if I get it up this afternoon, it won't be too bad. I generally try and keep it at four, though. Um, but yeah, there will most definitely be at least one a week. 
Um, I really do wish it could be more, like at least one every two days. But that's just, at this point, not going to happen. Um, I love doing YouTube. Like, it's really an uh, absolute joyride for me, personally. Um, and it's just a good feeling to create content and have other people actually, you know, enjoy it and chat to you about it. Like, I think it's really cool. YouTube's an amazing thing. Um, and it's definitely something I'd like to do continuously in the long run. But obviously, you know, at this point, yeah, doing it so often, just it's not going to happen. Love it. Love, love, absolutely love to do it every single day. Uh, but yeah, at this point, it's not going to happen. So at first, I thought uh, a bit of gym gear, you know, something like that. But I don't know, just um, didn't seem right, didn't feel right. Uh, then tried the bar also, no, didn't work, especially like just chilling right there by the bathroom door, kind of felt awkward place for a bar, uh, so I didn't do that, but uh, yeah, like you'll see this room, I think it looks all right, then it's, it's just that foosball table there that really kind of throws me off, makes me unhappy, and just would have looked so much better if it was a pool table, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Sims doesn't always have everything you want. Um, this bathroom, I knew it was going to be like a long, narrow one. But like that kind of forces you to change it up. And at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to put in like a shower or bath or something. But I decided, you know what? Why not? I want to just do it. Um, there's The space is there. So, yeah, I'm just, just going to do it. But yeah, I love I love the way that this bathroom turned out. Again, very like narrow and long, but looks pretty awesome. And then again, just jumping back to the rec room, which at this point was still bothering me. I just going absolutely crazy, just trying to find something because there's usually like one object that could literally bring an entire room together, just like one thing, and. Uh, I honestly think it's the pool table. I still think it's the bloody pool table that would have brought the whole room together. Um, so yeah, I'm not too fond of that room, like I said earlier. Not too fond of that one. And this is why I use the blinds. I remember now because I felt like that window is a little bit big and the bathroom is so narrow. So I mean, it's like you look in, you see everything. And then uh, like a little sports bar fridge thing, I guess, you know, because it's rich people. They've got a nice little fridge downstairs here that might have like some drinks in or whatever. If you got some guests downstairs, they want to walk all the way up. I don't know. I just thought it was suited. It's suited. And that light I put above the door, I honestly, I think that's the the coolest use for that light that I've ever done so far. It just looks really cool. It doesn't make too much light, but it lights the exact area I need it to. And it lights directly down. Not like out and stuff, which uh, yeah, I think that was pretty cool. I, I had some tough time just get lighting that room, but um, yeah, that room just makes me angry all around because it would have been perfect with again just that one object. Um, so the upstairs balcony, I was going to go kind of all out, and then I thought to myself, but this is kind of connected to their room, so. You know, no one's really going to go up here except for the people that live here, pretty much. So I kind of just left it really open, you know. There's like a lot of space to just to chill and I guess stand and look at the stars. I don't know, thinking about it now, I know that there's that really huge telescope. I don't actually know if there's a smaller one because that would have been the perfect object to put out there. On like the edge of the balcony. Um, yeah, and then this one down here, unfortunately it was the smaller balcony and it was specifically the one I needed a little bit more space with. Um, but I was, well, tongue twister there. But I decided to just take it as a challenge and fit everything in regardless. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, there's no space to like actually you know, sit down at a table and eat. But again, this isn't really the house for that kind of stuff. So anyways, here we have the front of the house. There you can see how I kind of messed around with uh, the stuff outside. And the whole exterior, which you also kind of missed. Uh, some of the windows. I think the windows came out really good. I really 
I really like them. And it's so open on this side, but I love it. I don't know. I love it. And then uh, we've got the stairs going up to the entrance. Of course, you can enter through the f uh, bottom floor there, but, you know, this is the main entrance. Uh, walk in, stairs there to the right, and then, you know, just looking over at that kitchen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, looking from the kitchen, so nice and open. I don't know. I love it. And then this is, of course, the balcony right outside that uh, kitchen area. Look at that. This is what I meant. Just look how good this room looks. I love it. I, and see like this table? It doesn't look too bad there. Um, bathroom. Love the way the sun comes into this house as well. And uh, yeah, again, pretty happy with uh, the triangular bath. Went and saved the day again. And then, of course, the balcony on the top floor. Moving down to the basement, which um, I was kind of scared of using this older type furniture, but... Um, I don't know, looks looks really good. The green painting up there is absolutely fantastic. Again, the rec room just needs that pool table. But anyways, guys, I, uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I might not be connected to the internet, but I'm always watching these comments like a hawk from the sky. <laughs> so again, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Moses. Getting ready to bounce. Qu'on voit danser le long des golfes clairs.